Welcome. I am Only Juno, and this is my crafty corner. And today's been rough. This is take five again. One of these days, I am going to make a video that I don't have to keep cutting off and restarting. <laughs> All right. So this is floss tube number thirty-two. Uh, it is late. Uh, I'm working, planning on getting things back into schedule and hopefully work calms down so that I'm not too wore out at the end of the day. Um, it is January the 15th uh, on a Saturday at 2 o'clock. Um, as soon as I get done, I am going over to join the Stitchy Witch um, on YouTube and her live video today because I've been looking forward to that. Um, so, if you are a new viewer, thank you for coming in. I hope you enjoy the video. Remember to, if you enjoy the video, you know, hit the subscribe button and the little bell so it tells you when I post new videos. I normally try to post them Wednesdays and one day on the weekend. Um, like I was stating, I'm a little off the last two, uh, two weeks, but um, things should be getting calmed down and get back on track. If you are a returning viewer, thank you for coming in. I really hope you enjoy the video today. Um, unfortunately, I did not. I don't feel like I got much stitching done since my last video. But, I mean, looking at my, you know, stitch count, it's not as bad as some of the, as I thought it was. I got more stitches than I thought. So, that is good. Um, so, uh... I'm going to go ahead and, like, the stitch count that I got for this week, I only got a total of 2,300 stitches into all my projects. Um, I did work on each, uh, at least one project once a day, um, but I didn't work on, you know, multiple projects every day. Like, there were one or two days I just worked on one project. Um, but, like I said, work has been crazy, and... When I do my stitch with me, I will, like, go more into, uh, work, you know, my day-to-day -day stuff. Uh, talk about that there. So, we're going to go ahead and start with this. My first whip is Winter Tranquility. That is what it's going to look like. Um, it was a free gift, uh, a free pattern that was given away on Thanksgiving. And I took it. And so far, I have gotten to here. I've been doing a lot of white. <laughs> I have been working on filling this area in here. Um, and then this is a, a lot of white on the rooftop too. So, um, truthfully, I have not been filling this, this pattern. I did work on it. A total of 285 stitches this week. I did stitch on it three different times, um, but I only got like 40, 50 stitches in it on, you know, two of those days. And only one day I got a good stitchy amount in it. So I think this one is going to go into a put away for now pile. I don't think it's going to stay in my rotation for the next month or so. Um, until I, you know, I think the biggest problem is, is I have to... Um, with it being on linen, one over one, and white thread. <laughs> but it's not a gone forever, it's just a put aside for now, because I have not been feeling like stitching on it. Um, basically, I was forcing myself to stitch on it, and then I was like, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Okay. So, let's see, my next pattern is one of my hades um let's see it is this one it is my dreaming of being human it is a mini um i got 310 stitches into this one basically um i don't think i showed this one last time but um basically i got my um finished my diagonal off so let me show this. This is where I'm at. The colors are awesome. I'm loving every stitch. 
even though it's pretty high confetti and like takes me you know a good hour to do one square <laughs> sometimes it takes me almost two but I am enjoying the stitch and I do think it's looking great um, I'm sorry this is uh, this is 25 count one over one um, cross stitch on Lugana. I need to remember to tell that. I always forget. All right. So, um, yeah, I told you how many times what I stitched. Didn't I? I got 310 stitches in to that one, and I only worked on it for one day. Um, so I like spent a good chunk of time on that one. Um, all right. So my next one is my harmony. Um, this is a free um, heaven and earth design on um, the heaven and earth website. Um, it's really pretty. Um, I'm loving working on it. Um, it is on 18 count, two over one. Um, I will say I don't really like my fabric that I've got. It's just a really stiff fabric for it. So, um, makes it a little difficult to work with and hold and move around. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I'm just trying to get it where I can show what I've done. There we go. Now it's folded where I can show. I'll try to do that next time before I do my videos that way. All right. So I got... 206 stitches on this. I worked on this two days this week. I am down here finishing out this diagonal. Um, so, starting to get into the really pinks area here. Like the eyeball is coming up right here if I, if I remember right. So, um, slowly working on this, getting everything put together. Um, I, with it being 18 count, I'm not able to put as many stitches as I like in it. Well, not, I don't stitch on it as much as my other smaller counts. Um, cause it, I have found that my sweet spot is at about 22 count and up. Um, I don't like the doing too much on the 18 count. Um, at least not. I think it's the two over one thread full cross. I don't know. I just haven't been able to get into it as much as, you know, I'm loving the design, but it's one of those I stitch on it for about an hour and then put it away. And that's about all I stitch on it. All right. So my next project is another Heaven and Earth. Heaven and Earth. Um, I started this one New Year's Day. Or New Year's Eve. Now, well, I started it New Year's Eve, then frogged it all, and started it again on New Year's Day. So technically, this is a New Year's Day start. Um, I've made good progress on this. Um, I didn't really stitch on it a lot. Um, I put. I actually put. 400 stitches in it this week, um, and 300, uh, three days worth, so, let's see, this is where I'm at, this is on, um, 28 count, one over one tent stitch, and this is my second project I've ever done tent stitch on. And I'm liking the one over one tent on 28. Um, I think if I'm going to have to, if I'm going to do a project in tent stitch, um, it most likely will be 28 count. I'm going to try one on 32 count before I make a definite decision. I won't do a lot of projects of tent stitch. I like the full cross. Um, that is my, you know, my go-to thing. But the tent stitch is nice, um, like for the patterns that the blossom is not 
an extremely large pattern, so I did tent stitch because I know I can finish it a little faster. All right, so um, gave the count on that. I gave yeah. All right, so my next thing is my dragons. This is called two dragons. Um, it's an Etsy pattern I got off of. It's a pattern I got off Etsy. Um, I don't remember who I got it from. I do post the links of my projects in the um, description below. So this is my dragon. I have worked on, I've only worked on him, this one, once it, once this week. Um, I do plan on continuing to work on him throughout the week, but um, I got exactly 200 stitches put in him the other day. And we are, I am right here, working down. So this is starting to look real pretty. I've got that blue wing already made and now I'm starting on the white dragon that's right there. So we're starting to get into the, the dragon here as well. So I'm really enjoying the look of that one and everything coming up on it. This one is stitched on 22 count, one over one full cross. Um, now I will say I like the one over one full cross on the 22 count, but it's, it's a toss up between the 22 count and the 25 count. Cause I like the 25 count as well. <laughs> okay. Now, my next one is a pattern by Gecko Rouge. Rouge. I say that name wrong all the time. Um, it is called Dreamcatcher. Um, it is gorgeous. I'm still working in the top corner. So I haven't actually gotten too much into design, but I'm looking forward to it. All right. So, um, I don't take this one off the frame because I continue to work on it because I'm wanting to have this done this year <laughs> so we will see um, this is where I'm at so far I'm actually pulling up new colors right here I haven't actually started stitching them yet but they're different um, different symbols than what I've been using so I'm looking forward to see what colors are going to come up here because I haven't really looked I just noticed that I have like four four or five new um color uh symbols compared to the the four different ones i was working in this this is 25 count two over one um i like it to a point i like the coverage i get 28 count one over one um two over one is too thick for 220 for that the coverage on this is fine, um, but I prefer one over one um, normally. But I wanted to get the stitch as fast as possible, and it was kitted up for two over one tent stitch. So that's what I did. At least I think it was. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it was kitted up for two over one full across, but I don't know. All right, so my last project that I've worked on this week is my cat. Um, it's called multi cat. I don't know. Um, it's a pattern I found on Etsy. Um, I am loving it. It's like so easy to work on while I'm at work. Um, even on hectic days because they're mostly just triangles that I can work on. And like I can outline it and then just not have to worry about if I'm in the right spot, you know, because I know where I need to go and how it needs to, you know, because it's already outlined. So it really does make um, stitching while on the job easy, um, especially this week because it has been super busy. Okay. And uh, 
I didn't tell you. I stitched 260 stitches on the Dreamcatcher. Um, I totally spaced on that. Uh, I worked on it for two days this week. And then um, on the cat, I got 416 stitches in, and I worked on it for two days. Um, I worked on it the last two days of the week because I had decided that I was putting the winter one away um, for a little bit. All right. So that is all my stitching. Um, and this is what I write all my stitchy stuff in. <laughs> Anytime I stitch, I write it on here. And I did something different this year that I didn't do last year because I didn't really have any large one, large projects to keep up with. So I wrote down all my large hades and bigger projects. Like my pandemic, my dream, the dragon, human, harmony, and kitten. I always shorten the name of everything. Um, and I put down what percentage I was at on January the 1st. Um, so that by the end of the year, I can see how, how much I increased my percentage. Um, especially on the kitten and the rose. Because like I said, that one just hit, well... Actually, it will hit one year and next week, I think. It's like the 26th. It'll hit one, It'll hit its one year mark of being worked on. Um, but, okay. So, that is all my stitchy stuff. The When I do my stitch with me, that's when I'll talk about life and work and all that stuff. Um, I did want to show two of the new, um, uh, colors of 3D printed thread drops I've made, and then I redesigned one of my thread drops. Um, my design before was this one, which I like it. It's really cool. I'll still print it out a few times, but I found... I changed it up and I made it more of an oval, oval blah, words and um, so and then I, uh, I bought different colored resin this time so yeah and I really I'm not really sure about the blue resin it's interesting but I kind of like the clear resins better so yeah, I made this one will it focus it's not focusing very well so it's kind of a baby blue color I don't know it kind of looks like a powder blue it's just like I don't know it's interesting but um yeah I've been I've got a ring here of all the 3d printed ones I've made so far um of the designs I've made so far uh so yeah I'm still working on the price of those um I've almost got figured out what I would sell them uh, what price I would sell them for for how many so um, I will say to let everybody know as soon as I get that situated and get um, an account situated um, let's see since this was like take five I don't know if I mentioned it or not but I am almost to 300 subscribers which is awesome um, just it's like every day I've noticed my numbers are going up. It's like, it just brings me such joy to be like, Oh, I got another, I got another. <laughs> I like look at it daily. I look at how many views I have. I do all that. I'm not expecting it to go up, but it's like, it just makes me feel good when I see people are like, Oh, somebody's actually watched my video today. <laughs> oh, I know I'm crazy. If you've watched me enough, you've realized it. Okay, um, let's see. Next thing. Oh yes, 
<clears throat> I've decided that when I hit 300 subscribers, I will be doing a give uh, will be doing a giveaway. So as soon as I get the 300 subscribers, then I will go from there, um, and we will see what we can do um, with the giveaway once I hit 300 subscribers. And I'm going to say that is it for me. I am going to go and get my blossom stitch out and I'm going to stitch on that and go hang out with the, the stitchy witch today as I wait for everything to load up onto YouTube. <laughs> Alright, I will see y'all, well y'all will see me in my next video which stitch with me hopefully will be this evening or tomorrow for sure and I might try to do a live as well. Maybe, because I'm like so behind on stitch with me's. It's crazy. All right. Bye, everybody.